Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the 0xc00007b 0 application error you might be receiving when trying to run different applications on your computer. So if you come across this invalid image format error, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully address it without too much of a hassle here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the web browser. So it doesn't matter what web browser you want to use. I'm going to open up Google Chrome for today's tutorial, but it doesn't really matter. You can have whatever preference you want. And then you want to navigate over to google.com. And into the Google search, you want to type in direct X and user runtime web installer and you want to search that up one of the best results should come back from Microsoft domain here it says download DirectX and user runtime web installer go ahead and just left click on that now you want to just go ahead and select the download button once you confirm the correct language is in this drop down field here so go ahead and left click on that So give it a moment here, it shouldn't take very long. All right, once it's done down, you just go ahead and left click on it one time. If you receive a user account control prompt, it should see Verify Publisher Microsoft Corporation, go ahead and left click on yes. You can minimize out of the web browser as well at this time. So once you've looked through the end user license terms, you wanna go ahead and accept the agreement and then select next. If you wanna install the Bing board, you can, otherwise just uncheck it as I'm going to do in this tutorial and then select next. Unless you want the Bing bar, but I mean that's a personal preference here, it's not necessary for this tutorial. And you want to go ahead and select next. And then select finish. Now once you're done with that, go ahead and open back up your web browser. We're going to navigate back to google.com. And into Google, again, we're going to type .NET Framework. And you want to search that up. You want to select the download.NET Framework option that comes up with the search results. So we're going to go ahead and select that. So I'd recommend downloading the most recently published one on this list. At the time of this recording, it's .NET Framework 4.8. If there's a newer one since the time this video comes out, I'd suggest downloading that one instead. But we're going to select the most current one at the time of this video here. Now on the right side, you want to select download .NET Framework 4.8 runtime, or again, just swap out that with whatever the most recently published version, I would say. So pretty small download here. Verify Publisher Microsoft Corporation. Go ahead and select yes. You can minimize out of the web browser too at this time. So it's already installed on my computer. If it was not, I would recommend going ahead and continuing and just going through the whole installation process. It's already installed, so hence it's not going to let me install it over the previous copy. 
So I just want to put that out there, but you guys should go ahead and try and install it. So hopefully it will in your case. If it's not, that means it's already on there. So in either case, I would suggest restarting your computer once this is done. And hopefully that should have been able to address your problem. And that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.